Good morning and welcome back to White Mountains Today here on White Mountain 16. And joining us in the studio is Mitra and Bill from the Appalachian Mountain Center. And uh, Appalachian Mountain Center. Appalachian Mountain Club. Club. That yeah. was, I, I'm going, <laughs> it didn't sound right, Rob. What was wrong with it? The Appalachian Mountain how Club. Here? Well, I always call it the AMC, so yeah. you know, I always think about it that way. So how are you guys today? Oh, very well. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you guys could come down. And uh, we were talking before about how much you guys have to offer. And it's kind of funny because you kind of think, oh, it's the Appalachian Mountain Club. They, you know, they, they're up there in the mountains. But you guys have so much stuff going on. So let's talk about that. Who wants to start and just kind of give a kind of an overview of what the AMC is all about? Yeah, we're located at the Highland Center right in Crawford Notch off 302. Um, so we just have a lot of trailheads leaving right from the lodge. So hiking is really popular in the summer and the winter. Um, we have the ability to have overnight guests in our lodge, uh, but also we just get a lot of day traffic coming I bet, through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the winter time on weekends, we always offer hikes uh, guided um, at 9 in the morning and at 1 in the afternoon. And those leave uh, Saturday and Sunday. So even if you're not staying at the lodge and you're looking for a snowshoe adventure or want to do some, um, go out and hike around the woods, we're more than happy to take people out. So those are your, those are your structured hikes, so you're 9 and 1. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of plan on that and say, okay, I'm coming up next weekend. I can join in on one of those. Oh, yeah. But then you also have the, uh, we'll call them the more the adventure hikes. So I'll, I'll yeah. talk about where you can do a day, do an overnight, do several overnights. Yeah, so we do offer um, a slew of set guided programs. So the walk-on programs are free and open to the public at the Highland Center. So you don't have to be staying there for the Highland happenings. You can just kind of... Um, just oh, come terrific. in at 9 or at 1, completely free and open, and you have access to our gear room um, for the guided program. But the other programs are um, set guided programs that will happen normally during the weekend, um, and they can involve, like, say, a winter skills 101, so it's like an in-house, we don't do any overnights, but multiple day hikes that focus on skill building and things like that, or we can have um, overnights to the huts, either ranging from one night to several nights, uh, depending on the program or the, the participant requests. And we were talking about that before, and what's so cool about those hikes is that everything's included. Yes, yeah, they're completely all-inclusive, which means that um, it includes the guided program in the hikes. It includes the food for your entire stay, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and it includes the stay at the lodging as well. So, I mean, it's one of those things that if, if you were thinking about it, going, well, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know if I want to spend that. But, it's like, but if you tie up you know, what your lodging will be and what your food will be, plus the experience, they really become a bargain. Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely. Um, our goal is to try to get more and more people out there, so we're trying to make it, you know, economically viable for people to come out into the outdoors and have us take them out. And I guess one of the things that I was surprised about, I knew about all the stuff in the in the summer, um, but didn't really realize how much you guys do in the winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're pretty busy even in the winter, especially on the weekends, we really fill up. Um, and I want a big week for us is February vacation week. Um, so those we have programs all week long, not just on the weekends. Um, so we'll be offering, again, more hikes and evening programs like campfires and evening speakers and some movies and stuff all at the lodge. And I bet a lot of them are family friendly. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, you <laughs> really get, because the thing is, you know, get the kids involved. I love the, uh, I don't know if I want to, if you officially call it the play area up there at the Highland Center. Oh, the playscape. Where you, oh, yeah. The playscape <laughs> where you can try out the, you know, the different rocks and everything else. What a great thing that is. And what a great way to introduce kids to, it's like, hey, this is fun. And guess what? When we go hiking up the mountain, it's the same thing. So you don't have to be afraid of that or like, I don't want to hike a mountain. There's some uh, mm -hmm. photos that we've, we've got here. Where is this one taken? This is over at our Lonesome Lake Hut. So over in Franconia Notch, it's a mile and a half hike to get up there. And you get an awesome view of Franconia Ridge on a clear day. Now, is that a day hike? Is that an overnight? Is that's, a, that's an overnight. You can get to Lonesome Lake in a day. It's about a mile and a half from the Lafayette Place campground um, in Franconia Notch. And so a lot of people do go to there for a day, and you, know, you can definitely make it back in time. Um, but when we lead trips to there, it's definitely for an overnight. Uh, so very the cool. group there, and yeah. Now, one of the things, too, is that um, obviously, you know, if you've got somebody who is not an experienced climber or anything else, especially this time of year, you've got a guide who is going to make sure that you're all outfitted, that you're ready to go before you start hiking into the woods. Oh, definitely. We have a gear room that's available to our guests and anybody coming on a guided program. We have hats and gloves and fleeces and snowshoes. 
so we can cover all the gear before we head out. And so that way people are comfortable and warm enough. So it's not just, oh, I have a cell phone, I'm okay type of situation. <laughs> You're making sure that they're all set. And, and I know uh, um, uh, my kids have went through the Bartlett School, and of course they do a big hike in the fall of eighth mm. grade led by you guys. And uh, what a great experience and the knowledge that they come back with, which is just an example of the knowledge you guys have to share with you know, kids and families and hikers of all ages, I guess we'll say. So, uh, so what, what's some events coming up? Anything specific that you want to highlight on? Besides the plethora of activities, <laughs> but I mean, if there's anything, anything fun that you guys are looking for, forward to particularly. Well, we did mention Vacation Week. Um, that's a big one, especially for families and kids and things like that. So we will have a whole bunch of uh, programs, not just at the Highland Center, but also at the Joe Dodge Lodge and at Cardigan um, down in southern New Hampshire. Uh, so there will be some family camps, family adventure camps, where it's a... Um, kind of a all family, whatever constitutes your family can come and there's a couple of guides and they take you out on guided programs. Um, so that's, a, that's the big thing that's kind of coming up yeah. um, right now is the, is the vacation week. Uh, but we do, like we said, almost every weekend um, have a program. Uh, so there is this coming weekend, I'll be leading a group of about nine participants to Lonesome Lake Hut. Um, for, for a winter snowshoe adventure. So that's one thing that's coming up. Neat. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I asked you before, but now I'm going to put you on the spot again. If you could, if somebody came up to you and said, Mitra, what is the one hike you want to lead me on? Which one, where would you take them? Ooh, you know, I was saying that this is, it really depends on what the person is looking for. Yeah. Um, if they wanted to do something very nature oriented and wanted to learn a lot about nature, say go birding or anything like that, um, I really like the Pondicherry National Wildlife Refuge down in Jefferson. Um, if they wanted like a real adventure or something like that, if they really wanted something that was um, very challenging, um, I'm very apt to do something like Mahusik Notch or some of the presidentials or something like that. That's great. What about you, Bill? I think the go-to at the Highland Center is you got to do Mount Willard. It's three miles on the round trip. Takes about two to three hours, but you have an awesome view looking down Crawford Notch. And that's a good winter hike, too? Mount yeah, Willard? fantastic snowshoe, doesn't it? It's a nice steady climb going up. The trail's really well packed in, so it's beautiful. And one of the things that, uh, you know, I think is important for people to think about, because you think about the uh, AMC and maybe you think about the Highland Center or you think about up in Peacom Notch, and you think that it only exists within those two little spots, but it doesn't. It's so broad, as you mentioned, Franconia Notch, Jefferson, everything else. So the opportunities are really all around the White Mountains. Oh, yes. Yeah, there, there's a lot um, out of those like three, you know, main notches that people talk about. There's, there's a lot out there um, hidden within the whites um, to go out and explore. That's great. So how do people find out more information? Well, they can call us um, either at the Highland Center at Pinkham. Uh, they can contact us or go on our website at outdoors.org um, is one way to get a hold of us. So outdoor, so that'll show all the uh, different Appalachian Mountain Club activities, the outdoors.org. Yeah, yes. you can do a really nice activity search. So find exactly what you're looking for, the location, and you'll be good to go. That's great. We've got a shot of it right here yeah. from the website. So it uh, looks like it, uh, Hans is doing it, so it's got to be easy to browse. There, <laughs> yeah. right there, so. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming by today and uh, really giving us a lot more information about the AMC that I you know, imagine a lot of people aren't, you know, even though it's in our backyard, thinking about all the uh, that you guys have to offer. So, so thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having us. And please stop on by. Absolutely.